Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x plus 1 over x whole squared minus x plus 1 over x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 1. We need to find all possible values of x and x is not equal to 0 or 1. So, let's start. By using this power rule a over b whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n divided by b to the power n. This x plus 1 over x whole squared will become x plus 1 whole squared divided by x squared minus and this x plus 1 over x minus 1 whole squared will become x plus 1 whole squared divided by x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 1. Now, we take the LCM of this denominator x squared and this denominator x minus 1 whole squared. The LCM is uh, x squared times x minus 1 whole squared. Now, this LCM divided by this uh, x squared is equal to this x minus 1 whole squared. So, we multiply this uh, x minus 1 whole squared by this uh, x plus 1 whole squared. x plus 1 whole squared multiplied by this x minus 1 whole squared and this minus will come here. Now, we divide this LCM by this uh, x minus 1 whole squared then we are left with this uh, x squared. So, we multiply this x squared by this uh, x plus 1 whole squared. So, here comes uh, x squared times x plus 1 whole squared is equal to 1. Now, if we multiply both sides of this equation by this uh, x squared times x minus 1 whole squared, then this implies that uh, x plus 1 whole squared times x minus 1 whole squared minus x squared times x plus 1 whole squared is equal to x squared times x minus 1 whole squared. Now, from these two terms, we can factor out this x plus 1 whole squared. We factor out this x plus 1 whole squared. x plus 1 whole squared as a common factor and in bracket left, in bracket left this x minus 1 whole squared minus x squared. In bracket left, x minus 1 whole squared minus x squared is equal to this expression x squared times x minus 1 whole squared. Next, x plus 1 whole squared times. Now, by using this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. This uh, x minus 1 whole squared will become x squared minus 2 times x plus 1 minus this x squared x squared is equal to this expression x squared times x minus 1 whole squared. Next, x plus 1 whole squared times this positive x squared will be cancelled out with this negative x squared and here we are left with the negative 2 times x plus 1 is equal to this expression x squared times x minus 1 
whole squared. Now, by using this algebraic identity, a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. This x plus 1 whole squared is equal to x squared plus 2 times x plus 1 times this expression negative 2x plus 1 is equal to x squared times by using this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. This x minus 1 whole squared is equal to x squared minus 2 times x plus 1. Now, we multiply this expression by this expression. So, this x squared times this negative 2x will become negative 2x cubed. And this x squared times this plus 1 plus x squared. Now, this 2x times negative 2x, negative 4x squared. And this 2x times plus 1 plus 2x. Now, this 1 time negative 2x, negative 2x and 1 time 1 plus 1 is equal to we multiply this x squared by this expression. So, x squared times x squared will become x to the power 4 and x squared times negative 2x, negative 2x cube and this x squared times plus 1 plus x squared. Now, this positive 2x will be cancelled out with this negative 2x and we subtract x squared from both sides. We subtract x squared from left side and we add 2x cubed to the both sides. At right side, we add 2x cubed. So, this will be cancelled out, this will be cancelled out, this will be cancelled out and this will be cancelled out. And here we are left with negative 4x squared plus 1 is equal to x to the power 4. Now, we move this negative 4x squared and this plus 1 to the right side. Then this equation will become x to the power 4 plus 4x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this x to the power 4 can be written as x squared whole squared plus 4 times x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, here we have x squared and here we have x squared. So, we suppose that uh, let x squared is equal to m and we substitute m in this equation, then this equation will become m squared plus 4 times m minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and in this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4 and c is equal to negative 1. And according to quadratic formula, m is equal to minus value of b is 4 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write 4 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write negative 1 divided by 2 times in place of a we write 1. Next, m is equal to negative 4 plus or minus square root of this 4 squared is equal to 16. Negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 plus 
4 divided by 2 times 1 2 and m is equal to negative 4 plus or minus square root of 16 plus 4 20 divided by 2 next m is equal to negative 4 plus or minus square root of this 20 can be written as 4 times 5 divided by 2 and m is equal to negative 4 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 5 divided by 2. Now this 2 1 time and 2 2 times 4 2 1 time 2. So from here we get 2 values of m. m1 is equal to negative 2 plus square root of 5 and m2 is equal to negative 2 minus square root of 5. But we need to find the values of x. So recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x squared is equal to m. We have supposed that x squared is equal to m. First, in this equation, we put this value of m1, negative 2 plus the square root of 5. Then this equation will become x squared is equal to negative 2 plus square root of 5. Next, x squared is equal to this negative 2 plus the square root of 5 can be written as square root of 5 minus 2 and from here we take square root of both sides of this equation. So this square will be cancelled out with this square root and we get the value of x is equal to plus or minus square root of square root of 5 minus 2. And from here we get two values of x, x1 is equal to square root of square root of 5 minus 2 and value of x2 is equal to negative square root of square root of 5 minus 2. Now in this equation we put this value of m2 negative 2 minus square root of 5. So, this equation will become x squared is equal to value of m2 is negative 2 minus square root of 5. Next, x squared is equal to from here we can factor out negative 1. Negative 1 is a common factor and in bracket left 2 plus square root of 5. Next, x squared is equal to this negative 1, this negative 1 is equal to i squared. So, we replace this negative 1 with i squared times this 2 plus square root of 5. And from here, we take square root of both sides. So, this square will be cancelled out with this square root and x will be equal to plus or minus i times this expression 2 plus square root of 5. And from here we get other two values of x. x3 is equal to i times 2 plus square root of 5 and value of x4 is equal to negative i times 2 plus square root of 5. So, these are the four solutions of this equation.